All right, we're going to go ahead and download QuickBooks Enterprise 12.0 here. Okay. You have, you should have your link in your uh, email that you were sent, and your link will be a little different. It'll say latest. Okay, so it's going to down, once you click the link, it's going to pop up and it says you want to run or save this file. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. All right, so now it's going to download the information here. And once it's downloaded, then uh, we'll get this exe file saved and we'll be able to run it at that point. Okay, once it's done downloading, it's going to ask you to run the exe file, right? It's going to run the 12.0 exe file here, and it'll take a little bit to uh, process. Okay, so it's going to take us to the Install Shield Wizards. So we're going to go ahead and click on Next here and then extract all the files that we need. It's going to pull and download any add-on pieces that we need, like the .NET, the um, you know, Adobe, the latest version that we need, all that information. Okay says I already have this available. Do I want to override it? So I'm just going to go ahead and say yes to all on these so it'll get the latest of everything for me. Right now it's going to take us through, it opens up to this installer, it's going to take us through the installation. It's going to say next here, the first thing that you have to do is you have to agree to the terms of the license agreement. Which is pretty common to see anytime you're installing any software, correct? Okay, now it's going to take us into the next screen here. Now you have the choice. You can say, I will be using this the QuickBooks on this computer. I'll be using it on this computer and storing my file on this computer. So this is your server and it is where you know, you're going to be using the file. And then you also have, I will not be using QuickBooks on this computer. I will only be storing the file here. Okay. You don't, it doesn't require a license for this bottom option, but I still say to install it as if you're a user. I usually do with my clients on their server. Install it as if you're going to use it on the server and you're going to, um, and you're going to be storing the file there. Uh, if you're installing it on one of the local stations, so each of your individual users, you, you click this button here. So we're going to go ahead and say next here going to pop up and ask us for our license number. This should be a 15 digit number that came on your download information sheet. So I'm going to type in our license number here and pause uh, before I put in the last three digits. Okay. The product number also should be on your download sheet and the product numbers are different by how many users you have. Um, so you need to make sure you have the right product number there. So I'm going to pause the screen while I put in the last three digits of this, the license number. Okay, so now it's going to say, is this where you want to install the software? Okay, and you can you, you can change it to a different installation location by clicking Browse here. Also, if you want to replace existing versions on the computer, you can check this button and replace an existing version. I usually say not to do that yet. Go ahead and install it, make sure it's working okay, and then go in and uninstall the previous versions. So we're going to select Next here. It gives you this information, and we say Install. Now it's going to go through the installation. Okay, 
Now we're going to go ahead and finish this out and it's going to ask you to restart your computer. So we're going to go ahead and pause out of this and take a look at our next video on how to quickly set the, uh, put your validation code in. Okay.